Learn how to make an object follow and orient to a path in just a few clicks. Let's do it. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today we're taking a look how to make this object follow and orient to a path. It just takes a few clicks using a cool little um, built-in plugin that After Effects has come packaged with since 2018. Uh, without any further ado, let's just jump right in and get on with it. Uh, let's go to my tutorial here. You can see that I've just got a path here that I've drawn um, with the pen tool just simply by clicking and creating a path of movement. This will be the path which our object is going to follow. We are obviously also going to need an object, so let's get to that. I'm just gonna go here to my polygon tool and I'm gonna make a fill with no stroke. I'm just gonna draw myself a nice triangle. Okay, let's take that triangle and the first thing I'm gonna do is select our path tool down here and go to window and make sure that we have create nulls from path selected. This will create this window down here for us. Uh, if you don't see it, it's likely that your After Effects is a version that's before 2018. It has come packaged with uh, After Effects since then, so you should have it. We're going to ignore the first two buttons and just click the third one, which is Trace Path. What Trace Path does, oops, if you have a path selected, mind, uh, you have to go down to Contents, Shape, Path, and then click the option that has the um, stopwatch next to it. Then choose Trace Path. And what Trace Path does is it automatically creates a null object that will follow and orient to this path. It also creates two keyframes, which um, as if you scrub back and forth, you can see the null object following and looping. If you want to make it slower, you can just drag these keyframes out. Um, so that will slow it down quite a lot. But obviously, you can't see anything happening at the moment because it is just a null object. So find a point where your null object is on a straight line. Grab your shape object here, the one that you actually want to orient. I'm just going to pop the anchor point towards the center here so that when I bring up my rotation tools, which I will also just name as well, uh, object. So then I bring up my rotation tools, I can align it correctly. I'm just gonna position that in a place I'm happy with. Now you can see the null object is attached using this back corner here. So the closer you point your anchor point to that back corner, the more accurate it's gonna be. Uh, then you just need to pick whip your object to your trace path here. And as you can see, that's really all there is to it. Just like I said, a few quicks, a few quicks, a few clicks, super simple, really easy to do. So much easier than all this copying and pasting path nonsense that we had to do. Fantastic. Really, really good. Really, really useful. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please consider subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications. And if you've enjoyed quite a few of my tutorials, please consider um, becoming a member of the channel as well. Just for a few pence a month, you can get cool things like a certified badge next to your name and shout outs at the end of each tutorial, a bit like you're about to see in a minute. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time on TipTap. I'd like to take a moment to thank my level two members of the channel. Thank you so much for supporting me and what I do here at TipTap. Tremendous thank yous to Unknown Ghosts, WN62, and a third anonymous level two member. You guys are keeping me in house and home. Thank you. If you'd like to get a shout out at the end of each tutorial video, consider hitting that join button below and becoming part of the TipTart zone. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you later. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.